Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lecture, we will learn the difference between absolute and relative x path. What does I mean? You can see here, already I have written absolute x path versus relative x path. Why this comparison is required? Let us see. By taking an example of makemydream.com site. Here, you can see that it is a site of make my trip used to book flights and hotels. Here I will try to click on the flights tab here and try to create an X path using two ways. First way is absolute X path and the another one is relative X path. So first of all, we will try to right click on it and click on inspect. After clicking on inspect, you can see that a blue highlighted light came here and by using this blue highlighted line we can create an x path which i have already taught you in my previous lecture so look at it how we will create an x path using this blue highlighted line we will just paste the class here because class is the attribute present here and span is the tag name present here so we'll just control f and try to try to create an x path using this one for this we will write tag name that is span we will give bracket before the bracket we will give at the rate and here we have to write class equal to inside the single quotes we can we can write the class name here and here we have to give slash slash because we are creating an x path now are you able to see that we have created successfully an x path for these flights tab but why then what is the comparison between absolute and, ab and relative x path this one which we already created is relative x path it is not absolute x path because we are just trying to create an x path wherever the blue highlighted line is coming but we have to also learn the concept of absolute x path where we will try to traverse from the grand great great grandfather of this particular span so first of all we will copy this one we will copy this one control x we will do and paste it in the notepad itself and we will try to understand the difference between absolute and x and relative x path here you can see that I have already written here X path is traversing from parent node to the required node and here you can see that we want to traverse up to this span class this span tag name I want to iterate or traverse from its great grand grandparent which the concept which I have already told you in one of my lecture that is traversing from parent to child node that is parent child traverse relationship so if we try to compare it we would get to know that this one is the this one is the relative x path but to get the absolute x path we have to traverse from its parent node up to this particular node so we will try to create an x path using this parent node concept here just try to get the great grandfather father of this one here you will be able to see that this particular div this particular div we can create it as the great grandfather because here id is present and it is seem to be unique so we will try to create a great grandfather father from this particular point so we will just try to copy this one we will copy this id and try to create the great grandfather first just we will write a div which i have already told you if you do not uh, gone through my uh, gone through that particular lecture i will uh, give you the link of that particular lecture also here let us focus so he, after writing slash slash div here we have to write at the rate id equal to whatever id we have just copied it we will paste you can see that we have already accessed the great grandfather of this particular span the flights span we have already got that 
so we will try to move to the next next child of that particular great grandfather here after seeing this you will be able to to identify that this particular div is the child of this particular great grandfather how you how you get to know that because whenever we try to click on this particular downward arrow it will hide so it means that the div this div having id equal to sw is the great grandfather because after clicking on this particular arrow all the childs all the children got hidden so according to this concept the particular this div will be the child of that particular great grandfather so we will just try to write slash and div now you can see that the axis has moved from this particular place to this place now the concept came come here here he, we have to find the children of this particular div here you can see that there are two divs two div children present here but we require the second div because whenever we click on this downward arrow the span class is hidden so this means that the particular the second div is the parent of parent of this particular span i think you got the concept so we have to move up to this particular div not the first one for this we have to write the concept of indexing which we which i have already told you in, in my one of the lectures here just we have to write two inside this so it will be able to go to this particular div which is containing this span class now i i think you got up to this point now after this we have to find the child of this particular div and you can see that this one is the child of this particular div because whenever we try to click on that it is it got hidden means this one is the child of this particular div so we can write slash div and it will be fulfilled because there are no extra divs present for this particular div means it it has only one child that is this one now you have reached up to this particular point now you have to go to the next one how you will be able to go to this next one because whenever we click on this particular thing the span class got hidden means this one is the parent of this span for this uh, sorry uh, this this is the child child which is required for traversing up to this span so we will just write slash div to move the axis to this particular point now you can see that the, the point has shifted from this particular point to this point now you have to focus because here span and nav there are two children of this particular div so you have to go to this nav because this nav is containing the span class because whenever i am clicking on downward arrow you can see that a span class is, is got hidden so we have to traverse to nav now we will write slash nav and we can go up to the nav and again we have to find the child of this nav and you can clearly see that there is only one child present here that is ul so we will just write slash ul here now we have reached up to this particular point now the tricky part comes here here you can see that inside this ul there are many children present here that is this one li li you can focus on that ul is containing this much of li present here i think after writing the li slash li you will get to know that there are 10 children present for this particular ul but but we require the span class which is present inside this li so we have to give the indexing that is one so we will give just the indexing one and now we have reached to this particular ally and from this we can reach up to this particular span this one this one we can reach up to that is this one you can see because it is containing containing span class equal to this one i think you got the concept so after traversing up to the li portion now we will try to go to its child that is a which is present as a a so we will just write a 
and you can reach up to this A. Now you will be able to get this particular span. For this you just required to give slash span. After giving slash span you got to know that there are two children and already you know that in, inside this particular A there are two span. Two span present here. You can see that you require this particular span because it is containing the text flights. So you have to give the indexing to to reach up to this flight. So we will just write it here as to. I think you got the concept how to traverse from the parent great grandparent up to the particular point using the concept of absolute x path. This is the concept of absolute x path. We will just try to try to copy this one. Control C. We will do and paste it and paste it here because we will use the concept of this absolute x path to iterate to automate and now we have already got the absolute x path which we already got using the concept of relative x path this one but then the one question might come to your mind that why is it required to create an absolute x path when we have already got the relative x path as i have already told you in my previous lectures that if if this class is not unique means now the the this particular thing i think you will be able to identify it one second i, I will tell you just copy this copy this x path sorry x path you will copy and paste it here and here you can see that using this using this x path you are getting one of one but what what would have have happened if this one was not giving you one of one then how you will be able to get the locator for that you would have required the concept of parent child traversal relationship that is absolute x path so whenever you are not getting the relative x path as your requirement that is one of one you might require to get an x path using the absolute x path and which is in different terms is known as parent child traverse relationship this is the concept and the x path we, which we create is known as absolute x path so we'll just write it here here i have already written that relative x path no relation with parent nodes because you are just just creating an x path using the particular node which is required that is the flights node which is having tag name span we just required this this much only we do not require the concept of parent here so we can write it here as no relation with parent nodes but absolute x path is parent child traverse relationship because we are we are traversing from the parent child which is having the unique id this one sw from this unique parent we are traversing up to that particular node which is parent child and the concept here is known as absolute x path means we will write this one is absolute x path and the term and this term and the term related to this one is known as parent child traverse relationship this is the absolute x path containing containing parent child nodes the phenomenon the phenomenon to use use the absolute x path is known as absolute x path to use absolute x path is known as parent child traverse relationship which i have already told you in my previous lectures so i think you got the concept here using th this x path we will just try to automate one thing that is we will we will get the text of that particular flight section just copy this one control x here we will just comment it out i have already written this one and here inside the x path 
we will we will write the x path which we have created control v we have just pasted here and we will try to get the text of that particular particular thing that is flights so i think after running this program you might get the output as flights because because you might see that flights is written here so after automation complete automation successful automation flights will be printed on the console if our coding is correct or correct so after completion of this program it might give you text is flights you you can see that text is flights is written why is it why is it written because i have used the concept of dot get text whenever you want to get the text of a particular span you can use the concept of dot get text and here also you can see that inside this one the text is flights i think you got the concept why and now after knowing the concept of absolute x path and relative x path which we have already understood that is relative x path is no relation with parent nodes means this particular one this particular one which we have already uh, written in the uh, sorry uh, in the notepad you can see that we have created this one this is relative x path this one is relative x path example of relative x path and example of x absolute x path is what this one even you can uh, you can stop this video and take a screenshot for your reference here this is the example of absolute x path this one we are traversing from the parent node up to the particular that particular node you got the concept i think and now what is the advantage and which one is better in approach relative x path is better or absolute x path is better if interviewer ask you which x path is better you will answer that relative x path is is relatively better in comparison to absolute x path why why is it so because if developer changes one of the node present here he might he or she might uh, uh, try to improve the code day by day and can remove one of the nodes present here and we and in the absolute text path we are traversing from the from the parent node up to this node if he or she removes one of the node then absolute text path will not work this is the disadvantage of absolute text path but what is the advantage of absolute text path the advantage of absolute text path is that if this particular relative text path is not giving you the desired output that is one of one then you can create an x path using parent child type child traverse relationship using the concept of absolute text path i think you got the concept the concept of difference between difference between absolute text path and the relative text path if you like my content please like the video share it to your dear ones and kindly subscribe my channel thank you